Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Hollywood, Florida at the Inside ETF Conference. I'm here with Dan Draper, head of global ETFs for PowerShares. Dan, great to see you. Tom, great to see you. A lot's been going on early in 2016, but you've seen flows in certain strategies within the ETF suites that you offer. Tell us about it. Yeah, no, the flows have been really interesting. As you know, we have uh, SPLV, so low volatility has been a major theme. That product has relatively outperformed the S&P 500 about 250 basis points year to date, first few weeks of the year, but really over two years is outperformed by 900 basis points. So if you think back, if you're an advisor, you look back when the VIX was cheap, yeah. you know, or lower, that's when you wanted to be you know, buying low volatility. Now it's really starting to pay off on a relative basis. The other big concern really started back in December a lot of worry coming into the current earnings season. Yes. I want quality. So SPHQ, high quality. People wanted to make sure if I'm going to ride through the earnings season, I want to be able to do it with some shock absorbers and make sure I own the best companies. And quite frankly, the, the last big trend we've seen is actually outflows out of dividends, but going into preferreds. Huh. So I think what's interesting is, 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 is a lot of investors looking at the bank balance sheets, particularly U.S. financial institutions, yeah. clearly improving. Now, yes. their ability to generate high return on an equity is challenged, but their balance sheets are good. Let me get a better income from the preferred space rather than you know maybe some of my dividend holdings have gotten richer. So those so, are the three big trends we've seen. Bet on the financials as yeah. borrowing costs have gone up, profitability right. hopefully increases as rates rise, right. right? And also the need for dividends, the need for income right. in a rising rate environment. So, sounds interesting. You know, you've been at this for a while now. Uh, having diversification and offering is really, really important. And I know through your smart beta strategies that you offer, advisors are moving more and more from pure beta index-based strategies to smart beta. Do you think that trend's going to continue? Absolutely. And again, these market conditions where, again, we've seen volatility increase along with the rate rise we saw in December, but that means you have to diversify. And if you really think the six years plus bull market we've had since 2008, 2009, it's been pretty much, well, risk on, risk off. For the yeah. most part, risk on. But now all of a sudden, rather than just either owning the market or being out, now I'm going to have to really diversify. Yeah. And so whether it's these you know, single or multiple risk factors, you need to buy them when they're, when they're attractive. And this is where on a relative basis and, and a diversification basis, this is the time when they pay off, right. as we're seeing now. But then looking ahead, it's having that discipline and understanding your clients and having a good portfolio strategy, things that are really out of favor, commodities, energy, emerging markets. I mean, it feels really, really bad, but then you have to really think longer term when is the right time to diversify even into those you know, types of opportunities? And I think it's a bit early. We don't see a lot of demand yet, but the inquiries and really trying to understand, again, you know, when, when those are out of favor, they are offering diversification opportunities. But having, again, the right advice and, 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 and understanding the end goals of what you're trying to achieve, that really helps you get the timing down of when to implement those. You, you mentioned two things, feeling really, really bad yes. and discipline. Within Smart Beta, it really covers both of those things because as investors and even advisors like us, we're investors, it, when it does feel bad, emotionally it's difficult to make those buys. But within those smart beta strategies, they inherently do that for you, That's correct? right. But having the transparency, the index rules, yeah. again, it gives you that, that discipline where effectively, on average, not every time, but if you can you know, buy high and uh, buy low and sell high, but, but having that ability, and that's where also, not just getting exposure to factors, but having the dynamic rebalancing that's associated with indexing, because effectively, if you think about buying low and selling high, it's a form of selling volatility back to the market right. and getting some form of risk, risk premium back to you. Yeah. So again, diversification, but actually when there's panic or people you know, who are going the other direction, you're getting and actually a form of return through that. So the right. factors as well as the rebalancing put together a pretty powerful combination. Great, great points. Dan, as always, really enjoy getting time with you. Thanks. You too. Thank you, Tom. Thanks.